Finally, you can now customize your settings inside of VS Code for different contexts like work or personal projects, and it only takes a few seconds to set up. All right, so let me share a little context as to why this feature is so important to me. I do a lot of content creation. That means I have different kind of settings that apply for when I'm just writing code for myself or I'm writing code for a tutorial for a video or a live stream or something like that. So a couple of basic settings that I need to tweak is when I'm coding by myself, I want my font size to be a lot smaller so I can fit a lot more code on the screen. But when I'm coding for other people like you, I need that code to be bigger so that you can really see it on whatever device you're watching it on, whether it's a phone or a tablet or whatever. Now, another thing that I change are the extensions that I use. So some extensions I don't want to apply when I'm doing a video tutorial versus when I'm just coding for myself. So an example of that is GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is too good that I can't leave it turned on when I record tutorial content because it would write all the code for me and it would make it really hard for me to actually teach it myself. So with VS Code profiles, I can now set up separate profiles to customize each of those work environments and other ones if I wanted to and customize each of those settings and seamlessly switch between them as I go from personal project to YouTube tutorial to live stream, et cetera. So let's see how to set this up in just a couple of seconds right inside of VS Code. All right, so I'm inside of VS Code and first I'm gonna show you where my profiles are and what they look like. So I'm gonna open up the command palette on Mac is Command Shift P. If you're on Windows, it'll be Control Shift P. But I've recently used the profiles switch profile command. So you can search for profiles and you can see all the different ones for create, delete, export, import, et cetera. But I'm gonna switch my profile and you'll see just a quick jump here between a bigger zoom in on VS Code and then now going to my default one to a smaller zoom in. So if we look really quickly in the settings and just search for zoom, by default, the zoom level is zero. And if I switch the profile back to recording where I want it to be bigger for you, notice it changes that to a one. Now that's just one of the basic settings. Let's go back into here and see how to create a new profile. So we can go into profiles and create profile. It'll ask us for a name. I can call this uh, live streaming, for example. And then it asks you what you wanna copy from. So you have like a starting profile to start from. If you start with nothing, then you don't really get it. You like lose all your settings. So I would probably start from whatever your default is. In this case, I'll choose default. And then it asks you what different settings and other things you want to be applied. So for my case, I want all of this to be applied to all of my profiles, at least for the time being. So I can create this uh, new profile and I can come into the zoom level. Let's say I make this like four. Well, I don't need all of these messages. Okay. So let's go in and create a zoom level of four or something. So this is very big, right? Like we probably don't want this that often, but the cool thing is if I now switch between profiles and go from live streaming to recording, I didn't have to like set anything or save anything. It's automatically just kind of set for me. So now we have the ability to toggle between each of these profiles. So if I'm just going to write code by myself, the zoom level is a little bit smaller. So again, I can see more on the screen. And then I have a few other things that I have enabled as well. So I have font ligatures. Now these are ones that I think are super fun. You have to customize this inside the JSON file for some reason, but notice that font ligatures is turned on. Let me see if I can find an example of this. This is a Next.js 14 project. I'm gonna be working more with Next.js um, in the future. So let me show you an example of font ligatures. I'm not using arrow functions in here right now, but if I were, if I do the equals and then the uh, caret, notice this combines to be an actual arrow. This actually really confuses people when they watch my videos because they think I have like a super special font or this is some weird, crazy symbol. Well, it's just a combination of the equal and the side caret thing, but font ligatures allows that to be combined. Now for me, I am using Cascadia code font, which does support font ligatures, but the key here is that font ligatures are turned on. Now, if I were to switch my profile back to the recording, notice this is now going to not be connected. And that's because for people who watch my videos, if they're not sure what that is, it's really confusing. So I just don't want them to be able to see that and get confused. So that's really helpful. Let me get rid of this. Now, the other thing that is very useful, let's make sure I'm on the default profile for me is that I love GitHub Copilot. So for me, I have Copilot configured or installed on this setup. And so if I were to start to write something inside of here, let's see if I can get some help. So folder list, let's say folders dot map. It's gonna start to suggest all the code that I might wanna write 
for these folders and how to display them. Notice it's actually interpreting context from the code that I write. So this does way too much for me in such a good way. As a developer, it's probably a little bit of a cripple because I lean on it very heavily. But when I try to teach people, I wanna take things step by step. So I don't want you to see all the code all at once. I wanna be able to break it down and explain it each step of the way. So that's why when I go to my recording profile, you'll notice that Copilot and Copilot Chat are both kind of grayed out. That's because they're disabled. So there's a button here to enable them. So for any extension that you don't want to have on a different profile, you could just go in and uh, enable or disable that thing and it's automatically saved and applied to that profile. So it's really, really neat. There's not much that you have to do there to make it work. So those are the basic settings that I found so far that work well for me to customize for the experience of recording content and then actually coding myself. Let me know what kind of settings you're gonna be tweaking as you create profiles and what your different environments are in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you are loving VS Code. If you're interested in checking out more of my content or just getting updates weekly on what I'm working on, I have a newsletter at jamesqquick.com newsletter. So check it out. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.